Stock Market versus Crypto Fundamentals What we want to explain to you How do you define the word fundamentals? The word fundamentals refers to basic characteristics or features of something. Fundamentals also refer to the structural or essential parts of something. These are two possible meanings of the word fundamentals, and both of them are absolutely true. I will be discussing how exactly this applies to cryptocurrencies and digital assets in general. But first, let's quickly break down the concept of stock market fundamentals, so we can make some analogies and see where things might diverge in the crypto world. Before we get started, subscribe to our Cryptella YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get the most recent crypto updates. The stock market isn't what it used to be. The stock market used to be a place where investors went to make their fortune, and people wanted to get in on the game of picking stocks. These days, as more and more barriers are put up between big companies and potential investors, it has become much harder for regular folks, like you and me, to get in on the game when buying stocks through an investment fund like Fidelity or T. Rowe Price is available for people with lots of money. And while there are still some ways to invest directly in stocks that don't require thousands of dollars, they aren't exactly easy and certainly not without risk. So what's a person who wants to invest but doesn't have thousands of dollars lying around supposed to do? One option is cryptocurrency. It may seem scary at first, but cryptocurrencies can be incredibly lucrative investments and they're much easier than stocks. But how do you choose which one? And how do you know if investing in crypto will work out for you? That's what we're here to explain today. Stock market versus crypto fundamentals. We'll take a look at why stocks can be so difficult to buy, compare them with crypto assets, and talk about whether or not you should try your hand at cryptocurrency investing. Let's start by taking a look at stocks. How stocks work. First things first, if you're interested in stock trading, then you need to understand how stocks work. How crypto is revolutionizing finance and investment. Cryptocurrencies aren't issued or backed by a central bank. They don't follow traditional financial models, but are created and transmitted through a decentralized computer network, eliminating the need for third-party verification and middlemen. This means there is no central authority which has control over cryptocurrencies. No one can freeze your assets or reverse your transactions. The bank or payment processor can do that to traditional assets like cash. And no government can intervene with laws and restrictions on how to use them. In other words, they offer complete freedom of ownership and usage. In addition, they have low transaction fees and processing times compared to traditional currencies which makes them an attractive option for merchants who accept payments in cryptocurrency, as well as investors looking to make investments without paying steep fees. The value of crypto is determined purely by supply and demand. The price of any currency is determined purely by supply and demand if more people want it than there are willing sellers. Then, its price goes up. If more people sell it than buy it, then its price goes down. This relationship applies to traditional currencies as well as cryptocurrencies. However, because cryptocurrencies aren't issued or backed by a central bank or government, their prices can fluctuate significantly based on news events or even rumors. For example, Bitcoin's price skyrocketed from $1,000 in January 2017 to almost $20,000 in December 2017 before falling back down again over time. So, while cryptocurrencies have some unique benefits that traditional currencies don't offer, like complete freedom of ownership, they also come with risks that investors need to be aware of before making an investment decision. Investing in Stocks and Crypto Which is the best? Investing in stocks and crypto isn't always easy. The fact that both have a great amount of volatility adds a layer of difficulty. To help us compare these two investments, let's define them before diving into some pros and cons. The stock market has many meanings, but at its core, it is an agreement between two parties, buyer and seller, to exchange money for a security or share of ownership. When you invest in stocks, your investment can be as small as $1. You can buy individual stocks or invest in mutual funds, which are groups of stocks purchased by a fund manager who then sells shares to investors like you and me. Mutual funds allow people with limited capital to pool their resources together so they can diversify their holdings across hundreds of companies instead of just one stock. When investing in stocks, there are three main types, equity, preferred stock, and bonds. The future looks bright for both stocks and crypto. Both stocks and cryptocurrencies offer exciting opportunities for investors, but it's important to be aware of their fundamental differences. Understanding these differences is crucial for figuring out how to best approach each market, as well as understanding which market might be right for your financial needs. In short, 
Stocks are a way to invest in companies with an expectation that they will grow over time. Cryptocurrencies are a way to invest in technology platforms with an expectation that they will grow over time. As you can see from our chart above, both have had similar performance year to date, but long-term trends look very different. If you're looking at stocks or crypto investments as part of your long-term portfolio strategy, then you should consider some other factors when deciding between them. What kind of investor you are, what your risk tolerance is, and how much control you want over your investment. Let's take a closer look at each factor. The future looks bright for stocks and crypto investing. Stocks versus crypto fundamentals. The daily huddle. The future looks bright for both stocks and crypto investing, but it's important to understand their fundamental differences. Conclusion. Is the world going digital? Despite its enormous potential for disruption, blockchain has so far remained outside of mainstream popularity. Most people have either never heard of it or couldn't tell you what it is and how it works without having to Google blockchain before they can respond. There are many reasons why blockchain hasn't taken off yet, but its main underlying issue is simply that people aren't sure how they fit into a world that's quickly going digital and becoming decentralized. That's all for today's video. Hope you will learn more regarding crypto from our growing Cryptella YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.